Welcome back to questions three and four in this series, where we learn the half-reaction method of balancing aqueous redox equations. Question three asks, balance the redox equation shown underneath. The first step to balancing this is to write down the oxidation states for each of these ions. Starting with Fe2+, the oxidation state here is 2+. We'll skip this for a moment. The oxidation state here is 3+. Plus. This one is easy. You can identify it by its superscript, 2+. Plus. The reason why I skipped this is because we need to do a little bit of math. The oxidation state of oxygen is 2-, minus, and we have four of them. The complete ion, this ion is called manganate, the complete ion here is negative 1, as you can see. So we can do some math. We can set x as the oxidation state of Mn, plus the oxidation state of oxygen, it's two minus, and when there are four of them, that's equal to negative one. Solving this, we have negative eight is equal to negative one plus x, bringing the eight over. Negative one plus eight is positive seven. So the oxidation state of Mn is positive seven, oxygen is negative two, and now we can actually figure out what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. You can tell what's being oxidized when you look at a loss of electrons. So looking at Fe2+, plus, we go from 2+, plus to 3+, plus. that means there's a loss of one electron. Therefore, what's being highlighted in yellow is the oxidation reaction. For the reduction, Mn is going from an oxidation state of plus 7 to 2+. Plus. There's a reduction of charge, so this, what's being highlighted in green, is being reduced. So let's write that down. Fe2 plus in its aqueous state forms Fe3 plus. That's the oxidation. And the reduction is MnO4 minus, also aqueous, forming Mn2 plus aqueous. Now we have to balance these two equations. We start by balancing the masses. So take a look, we have one molecule of Fe2 plus and one molecule of Fe3 plus. They are balanced. In this equation, the Mn's are balanced, but the oxygens are not. We have four here and none here. To balance oxygens, you introduce water molecules. So I'll write down four water molecules on the right side because by putting four water molecules on the right side, we now have four oxygens here and four on the left side. But there's an imbalance of hydrogens. There are eight, so we will add eight hydrogen ions on the left side. Now we also need to balance the charges. We have a charge of two plus here and a charge of three plus. So over here, to balance out the charges, I can write down one electron. Now both sides are equal, and at the bottom, since we said that there is a charge of seven here and a charge of two here, I can add five electrons on the left side of the reduction equation. Let me write this out clearly for you. The next thing that we need to do is cancel out the electrons found in the products here and the reactants here. We only have one electron up here, so I'm going to multiply this whole equation by five. That way there will be a balance, five and five. By multiplying this whole equation by five, we add a coefficient here, a coefficient here, and this number one becomes a five. If we add the two equations together, these electrons and these electrons will cancel out, leaving us with, in the reactant side, five Fe2 plus molecules plus eight hydrogen molecules plus one manganate molecule and this yields 5Fe3+, plus, and the rest of these written here. What you see on your screen, right here, is the balanced redox reaction for question number three. If you would like to see the solution to question number four, leave us a request underneath in the comment section, and we'll gladly make a video once you get to that point. We'll see you soon.